on-premise systems administrator after five years. Do you guys want some tea? Oh, this is so cute. I just came to work and somebody put a happy birthday on my my um, desk. My birthday is coming, people. Send me some gifts. So let's talk about this one question. What will happen to the on-premises, uh, you know, network engineers, systems administrators who work over here? This is kind of like the spot where we come and bring our switches and routers and, and servers, everything. Just, you know, plug them in and you see some equipments out there. So what will happen to these people? We're talking so much about cloud. So is are we going to lose our jobs or is just something's going to happen? Uh, you know, what's what's the deal right here? Do not panic. Do not panic at all because we are still going to have a lot of, uh, you know, servers. Whoa, 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 where's the server? Where are the servers? Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. You know, we still have some servers right here. We still have some equipment. All the networking equipment are there. This is pretty messed up work right here. We gotta fix this. But all the networking devices and everything is still going to be there for a long, long time. But it is true, and you have to be aware of this reality. The whole racks are getting out from all the data centers. Racks are going away. People are throwing their on-premises equipment on the side, and servers are coming on the top right there, sleeping right there. Wake up. You don't need to worry about it, but you got to be more sensible and be more practical because after a few years definitely the systems administrator on-premises job are going to be rare because everything is going to cloud that doesn't mean you're not going to find a job inside the building it's that skills has to be updated towards cloud oh. A lot of help desk people are asking me this question that what's going to happen to this desktop uh, support positions, the on the field positions, are they going to go away? Not anytime soon. Trust me, these devices still has to connect with the cloud. You just need to upgrade your skills to more, learn about Office 365. And I just posted a video, one hour video with someone who spent two months in, with a technical company. Watch his interview, please, because he's saying a lot about cloud and he's doing a lot of Office 365 work, which you definitely going to touch all these equipments and look at this there are brand new laptops right there and that's how most of the companies are going to get many many laptops like this and you're going to be setting it up the printers are going to be still there all that stuff is still going to be there you will still have big printers like this to manage so either it's going to be an on-premises systems administrator still uh, assigning an ip address to this unless they come up with some new solutions who knows but you're still going to be working on that even the help desk people are going to be working on that stuff you will still work with the software development team. You are going to come over here or work with them as a systems administrator because they're going to be working on the code. You're going to be working on the cloud infrastructure. They're going to ask you, can I get an access to that uh, Active Directory application because I'm doing a single sign-on. I need to put that code in there. And you are just going to give that access. So that doesn't mean when things are going to cloud, you're going to lose space like this. Maybe they'll put you in the home and say, hey, work from home. As a help desk person, you're still going to run around to these buildings. They're not going to go away. Guys, these are huge buildings. It's for infrastructure. There's so much, uh, you know, technology still in place and people are so behind. And I just got a call from one of the client that we need to upgrade our 2008 server to 2012. And that's just getting to 2012 because they don't want to go further than that. Honestly, you will be still working physically in these environments. You're going to have machines to trash, machines to buy, some scanner type of stuff, printers, all that stuff, ticketing systems, all that stuff. You're going to be working on devices, testing, uh, MiFi's, you know, everything you're going to be working on. And of course, you're going to have your employees. They're going to be calling you. Hey, my printer's not working. My computer's not working. My phone is not working. So you have to do that physical part. Hello, how are you? So is on-premises job in danger yes it is because people are moving fast to the cloud but that doesn't mean you're gonna lose your job or anything you are the person who needs to upgrade yourself and move on to these skills because they're not gonna hire somebody brand new because all of the applications that you're working on they still are going to be you you're going to be managing these applications so just 
upgrade your skills. I'm waking you up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You're going to leave everything and you're going to run like that from all of this technology and everything. You're just going to run away. The reality, I am just doing an upgrade for this, you know, uh, 2008 server because that's kind of going away and everything. Remember, there's going to be a lot of clients, a lot of places that's going to have 2008 servers, 2012 servers running now. So just imagine that on-premises things are not going to go away. It's just a mixture of things are is happening and you just need to be prepared for that. So right now I just copied this ISO and I'm just going to do an in-place upgrade. Of course, after this in-place upgrade, I as a on-prem engineer at the same time, kind of like a cloud engineer, I need to then make sure that this application works with my cloud application after the upgrade. So this, gonna, this is going to require my on-prem experience uh, to be able to successfully, uh, you know, when this is upgraded, they have, they are kind of expecting from me to know the cloud and the on-prem and they cannot just bring a cloud engineer straight up with no on-prem experience because they will have no clue how this application was developed, how this application is going to work on cloud, how is it going to connect back to the infrastructure, how everything is going to work together is the key. So companies are not going to just, you know, start firing people. But of course, like I said, that you want to be uh, telling the company that I'm willing to learn more because they also expect you and they also expect everything to go towards that. So that's the reality. And you can see the reality is in front of you. Now, one of the usual question I get is that I am so new to IT. I want to get into IT. So should I just drop everything, the desktop side? Are we not going to have field engineers? I already talked about it. To be honest, you have way long, long, long to go. You get still uh, printers. You got to still have computers, labs like this and networking, plugging in things, desktops like those. You, that's, you need, you need something better than this. You need a better answer. Let me give you that. See, the answer is simple. You need to start from the bottom. This is this is the bottom right here. This is the bottom of technology. You got to understand what is networking. So basically the basic level networking knowledge, the theoretical knowledge, of course, a little bit like what that is. But even more than that these days, you just need to know exactly what type of work you need to do and how to prepare yourself for that. We're specifically talking about skills. And that's why Microsoft went towards role-based certification because people got bored the hell out of these two things because people just don't know. They go to the certifications and people talk about theory and some packet tracer labs and everything, but the real stuff, nobody knows. So this is where, of course, we invested so much of our energy that that's why we have 40,000 people following us for a reason and people can watch our videos. So you need to understand what is ticketing system, what is Office 365, you know, 365, Active Directory, uh, you know, some of the deployments, software installation, troubleshooting, all that kind of stuff which is not covered in the certification. So somebody has to actually teach you this stuff before you move into the next level. So once you get a hold of this level which is your bottom level this is where you start IT career and once you get better at this this is where then you move on to the next level by analyzing different type of uh, you know departments so you could be interested in security you could be interested in networking you could be interested in sysadmin stuff you know sysadmin or you could be interested in development because you at this level start working with them you assign the tickets to them you know their lifestyle you know how much fun it is by if you find fun in this area you may be like the networking guy you may really like routing and switching but if you like the sysadmin stuff like where you are dealing with websites and servers and it's slow fast you know all that kind of stuff on blocking things on the website and and you know deploying something on a higher level high-end stuff so of course then you're gonna love this area if you like to see oh my god this application is so cool why is it spinning like that and it is going inside and doing some stuff and I get this data and everything all that kind of stuff and somebody's making it work on the website then of course that will be either uh, development and applications and web applications kind of stuff that will be a developer stuff or if you like security like you're scanning these three people right here you say hey, your code is bad hey you need to fix your site because there's a lot of vulnerability you guys need to fix your networking stuff man come on get it get it get it working so you may like the security part of it right but it's not so easy. So a lot of people just come and say, oh, I am. I want to come here. And then in two months, I want to become this guy. 
Security, we tell people that that has to be advanced career. Why? Because you got to know all of that stuff, all of this right here. You got to know that. We're not saying you cannot become a security, by the way, without knowing all that stuff. You can, but you're just a weak security person. At the end, you're struggling. You're looking for information. If you are good at networking and you're not good at servers, and of course, that's not your area then. So you see, this, this is where why this is so important. This part right here, a lot of people forget. You cannot just jump like that. You can, but then you have too many issues. And we don't want to be leading or guiding people towards a stressful career. That's not what we want to do. Our platform is not about that. Our platform is about building a real engineers. And I'm not talking about extremely technical person who is just, everything is about technology and he's stuck in this whole certification. I got to do CCNP. I got to do this and this to make myself look better in front of people. No, you got to do things in a smart way so then you can, you can make that amount of money, 90K up or 100K up. You're making around that even less than that is still good you know that's where smart smart it simple you want to enjoy your life too our platform is about that our platform is about knowing it the better way making money having good life and enjoying not getting stuck in this whole fight of i want to do this and this and this so make to to make myself look uh, or get to the mastery level nobody cares about that stuff that's why the cloud came in and now half of these things are gone on the on-premises stuff we, we already showed you that so then after this you can make your own route the better way because then at this point if you got trained by us then of course you are on the target and you can get to the level uh, you know, wherever you want to go. I don't know what that is. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, that was a disaster right there. So what you need to do here, you need to go to job skill share.org. Now, this is a pretty bad writing right there. Job skill, not with S, share.org. And you need to join 40,000 members, 40,000 plus, but uh, uh, so 40,000 plus members. And if you really, really want to do this right here, you want to be here, then I highly recommend you take our live training. So go to jobskillshare.org and on the right side, there's a tab instructor that live training. This is for dedicated people. Yes, it's going to cost money because, you know, we're going to spend three months with you. It's not going to be for free. Definitely. It's going to be about three to four months of hands-on practice, everything hands-on. You know, you're just learning to become this right here, this people right here. So if you really want to see how many people have done it, please watch our latest videos. We have done this one. It says IT support engineer experience of two months. This, this engineer basically got trained this way, got the job, came back, two months of experience, and now his target is next right here somewhere. So let's hope. And that's not the only person who have landed a job. Many people have landed a job from jobskillshare.org. So thank you so much. If you have any questions about this video or anything like that, just let me know. Thanks.